Hi everyone, in this lecture we will see one more numerical in which we have to find out whether the system is static or dynamic, linear or not, causal or non-causal, time invariant or not. Okay, so the system equation is given as y of n is equal to a to the power n into x of n. So first let's check about dynamicity so whether this state uh, system is static or dynamic so if you see the output equation y of n so if you see this output so output at any instant depends only on the present values of input so we can say like system is what static system so output at any instant okay output at any instant depends only on only on the present values of input right only on the present values of inputs that is why we can say like system is what static system so system is static fine now let's move next and let's check for linearity now you have to find out whether the system is linear or non-linear fine so as we know the general expression y of n is what basically transform of x of n right and from here y of n is equal to this right so here you can write it is equal to what a to the power n into x of n we are going to check the linearity of the system now what to do here so first for an input x1 of n what will be the output y1 of n so this will be equal to what so this will be equal to what transform of x1 of n right so it will become a to the power n into x1 of n similarly check for an input x2 of n so here y2 of n it will be what transform of x2 of n so which is basically equal to what a to the power n into x2 of n right so here it will be now x2 of n because the input is x2 of n so hope this 2 is clear to you now once you calculated this 2 now you have to calculate the weighted sum of outputs so what do you mean by weighted sum of outputs simply you have to calculate a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n so this will become what a1 into y1 of n y1 of n is this right so a to the power n into x1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n so y2 of n is what this so a to the power n into x2 of n so you can take common a to the power n so this will become what basically a to the power n into a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n hope it is clear to you fine now what else you have to calculate now you have to calculate the output due to weighted sum of inputs it means you have to calculate y3 of n in this scenario what will be the input weighted sum of inputs right so this will become what transform of transform of a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n so this will basically become 
a to the power n is there right into x of n so a to the power n into this so a1 into x1 of n plus a2 into x2 of n right hope this much is clear now compare this two these two are what exactly same so from here we got to know like y3 of n is equal to what a1 into y1 of n plus a2 into y2 of n so if these two are what equal it means what our system is linear system system is what linear hope this is clear to you fine so our system is a linear system now let's go for the next check what is the next check whether the system is causal or non causal so we can see here y of n is equal to what a to the power n into x of n we already saw right that output depends only on the present values of input it does not depend on the future values of input right so we can say the system is what a causal system system is causal why because if you see the expression y of n depends upon x of n directly means the output depends only on the present input it does not depend on future inputs hence the system is what causal system fine let's go for next checks and the last check which is basically what time invariant or time variant system so it is given like y of n is equal to what a to the power n into x of n we already know like y of n general expression i am talking about general expression is equal to what transform of x of n right and from here y of n is given as this so it will become what a to the power n into x of n okay now what you have to calculate you have to calculate the output due to input delayed by m units it means you have to calculate y of n comma m which is nothing but transform of x of n minus m which is nothing but y of n when x of n is equal to x of n minus m fine so y of n at x of n is equal to what x of n minus m so simply replace x of n with x of n minus m so it will become what a to the power n into x of n minus m this is what the output due to input delayed by m units now you have to calculate what the output delayed by the output delayed by what m units fine it means you have to calculate y of n minus m which is nothing but y of n when when n is equal to what n minus m so wherever n is present just replace with n minus m so a to the power n so now it will become a to the power n minus m into x of n so it will become x of n minus m so see here these two are equal not equal right so from here what is the conclusion y of n comma m is not equal to y of n minus m so if it is not equal it means what our system is time variant system time variant fine it is clear so overall if you want to say you can say like this system is what time variant and causal linear and static in nature fine so if you have any doubt in this numerical then you can ask in the comment section fine so thanks for watching